So the Steam Store might be the easiest way to get new games onto your Steam Deck, but it's definitely not the only way. Because despite appearances, even though the Steam Deck definitely looks like a console, it's still very much a PC. And one of the primary draws of the Steam Deck is that you can do really PC things with it. And that includes not being locked down to Steam's ecosystem, and Valve has said as much, welcoming players to install all manner of operating systems, applications, and for today's purposes, other video game launchers and marketplaces. Now even though I like this openness of the system, I personally still like to pretend that Steam kind of exists in its own Apple-style walled-off garden, or rather I did until the past couple of weeks where I found that there were certain games that I just could not get natively through the Steam Store. So this past weekend I decided I would go ahead and try to get the Epic Store on my Steam Deck for reasons that I'll get to in a little bit, but yeah, that's what today's video is all about, as I just wanted to go over how to get the Epic Game Store on your Steam Deck, or rather a method for doing so, it's not the only method, and then secondarily what I think of that experience so far and why I actually set out to do it in the first place. But for now, let's just go ahead and start with how to get the Epic Store onto your Steam Deck, and I actually went for the Heroic Launcher method. Now there are other ways that you can accomplish this, and I believe one of them is Lutris, however I will say that these seem like the most straightforward route for me, so let's just go ahead and jump right in and I will show you what I did to get this up and running on my Steam Deck. So for starters, you'll want to make sure that you boot up your Steam Deck in desktop mode and go ahead and open up the Discover app. From here, you can do a search for Heroic Launcher and then just go ahead and install it. Once it's installed and in place, you can go ahead and open up the Heroic Launcher while you're in desktop mode. And then you'll have the option to log into either the Epic or GOG storefronts, or both obviously, but for this video I'm focusing on the Epic side of things. Once you've completed this step, you'll be able to see in the left-hand menu of the Heroic Launcher options for navigating either the Epic or the GOG storefronts, or you can just jump to your library and start installing games that you already have from those stores. It's very straightforward to get up and running, but before you exit desktop mode and go back to gaming mode, as with other non-native Steam applications, you'll want to go ahead and add the Heroic Launcher to Steam so that you can access it from the gaming mode interface easily. You can accomplish this by either opening Steam directly and then choosing to add a non-Steam application, or a much easier way that I don't remember being there before, so I don't know if I just missed this somewhere along the way in a sea of updates, but now you can just right-click on the application directly from the Start menu and just choose Add to Steam, which is a whole lot easier. And then finally at this point you can hop back into gaming mode, launch the Heroic Games Launcher, and then you'll see the same interface presented to you, and you can start downloading Epic Games to your heart's content. Like I said, the whole process of just getting the Heroic Launcher loaded onto the system and then accessing your Epic Library is really, really easy, and you certainly don't have to jump through as many hoops as you would for something like Chiaki or some of the other tutorials that I've done on this channel so far. It's just pretty much loaded up, log in, and you're ready to go. So yeah, the whole process is pretty straightforward, but what exactly prompted me to do this in the first place, and how has my experience been using the Heroic Launcher to access my now admittedly meager Epic Games collection? Well, let's start with what actually prompted me to do this, and that is that I was offered a key for the new Saints Row game. And here's the thing, I actually was pretty excited for the new Saints Row. Unfortunately, after it came out, I started seeing that it got a lot of mixed reception, so I was like, eh, maybe I'll check it out later or grab it on sale or something like that. But I figured, hey, you know, if they're offering me a key, I'll go ahead and check it out. But whenever I looked closer, it turned out it was only available on the Epic Store and I couldn't redeem that through the Steam Marketplace. And since I had not previously tried to put any of the Epic games or you know those exclusives onto the Steam Deck, I figured this was as good a time as any to try to get acclimated with it and then sort of talk about my experience. So that's really what prompted me to go ahead and do this. But side note, unfortunately, try as I might, I just could not get Saints Row to run on the Steam Deck. I tried just about everything that I could find after just spending almost an entire day going through you know YouTube videos and Reddit posts, seeing if anybody had success with it. I tried uninstalling it, reinstalling it, uh, doing a repair on the files, tried editing the hex code of the executable itself, which seemed uh, like a bad idea, but you know, I took backups before I started messing around with it. But yeah, that ultimately uh, did not come to fruition, so I never got a chance to play Saints Row, so I couldn't make a video on it or anything like that. But there were other cool parts about the Epic Game Store that I didn't realize that did make it still kind of appealing to explore further. The first of which was that I really did want to play Rocket League on it, because I played Rocket League on the Switch previously. Rocket League is really just an amazing game in its own right, and I thought, hey, maybe I can go ahead and put Rocket League on here, and it did let me put Rocket League on there, and it plays excellent on the Steam Deck. But beyond trying to get Saints Row running and just the appeal of diving right back into Rocket League, I did find that there were some other reasons for me to explore putting Epic Games on the Steam Deck. Chief among them is I didn't realize that apparently they give out free games just about on a weekly basis, and looking at some of the historical games they've given away, they've given away some pretty good stuff, including I think a Tomb Raider not too long ago. Now recently I wouldn't say that I've gotten anything exceptionally good from those free games so far that Epic gives out, but I was able to grab Spirit of the North, which is something I've been wanting to test out for a while, and I think there was also another game called The Captain, which which looks to be like a point and click sort of adventure game, so I'm definitely gonna look into that a little bit. And also 100 Days, which is a winemaking game, and I'm not sure if that would be my cup of tea or 
or wine, I guess more appropriately. But still, it's kind of a neat idea that now I'm gonna be able to get free games on a weekly basis from Epic, and while I might not natively buy a lot of stuff from that storefront, it's nice to know that the free games that I accumulate there, or indeed any exclusives that show up there but do not become available on the Steam Marketplace, are still experiences that I can enjoy on the deck with just a little bit of extra legwork. So how is the actual experience of using Heroic Launcher to access these? I would say it works really well, actually. I mean, everything is pretty straightforward as soon as you load in and you can actually access your libraries from either of those two marketplaces. It's very easy to understand the interface and install new games or remove existing ones. And at least for Rocket League and Spirit of the North, I didn't have any control problems. Everything just worked as you would expect as if you were launching a game natively from within the Steam Deck's interface. I will say it's kind of a bummer that it doesn't look like there's a way that you can take games that you have installed there and natively put them into the Steam Deck interface, or at least I haven't figured out how to do that yet. But honestly, that's hardly a deal breaker. But there are a couple of caveats that might be deal breakers, or at the very least, intrusive annoyances. The first is that even though you can find a lot of games from the Epic Store to go ahead and install on the Steam Deck, there's no guarantee that everything that you install is actually going to be compatible with the Steam Deck. So you'll definitely end up doing some searching around to make sure that the game that's on offer in the Epic Storefront is going to be something you can actually play on the Steam Deck and, you know, enjoy without issue. And the second issue that kind of dovetails off that is that even if you do find a game that will technically play either smoothly or after some tinkering, you might want to do some deeper research before diving in because anti-cheat software for some titles like Destiny 2 can definitely get you banned for playing them on the Steam Deck apparently. Now that's not a problem that's exclusive to the Epic Game Store necessarily, you can download Destiny 2 from the Steam Marketplace for example, but if you're new to having your Epic Library available to you on the Steam Deck and it's sort of front and center, you might just be tempted to jump into something like Fall Guys or Genshin Impact immediately only to find out that getting it to work is tricky or potentially dangerous for your account. So with those in mind, does that mean I think you should just completely avoid putting Epic Games on your Steam Deck? Not really. I mean, yes, I am admittedly a little bit split on adding more storefronts to the Steam Deck just because I like that wall garden approach and having everything just work, so to speak. But on the other hand, free games. Plus, it's pretty easy just to do a quick search on the Steam Marketplace to see if a game might be supported, or if it's not showing up there at all and it really is just, say, like a single player experience that isn't exclusive to the Epic Game Store, then all the better. Because this heroic launcher scenario is exactly the sort of thing that Valve made possible when they encouraged the openness of the system. So yeah, to kind of wrap this whole thing up, the process is really straightforward. I mean, it's pretty much as easy as just searching for the heroic launcher, installing it, logging into the Epic Game Store, and then just downloading your games as you normally would. And while I'm not sure if this combination of free games from Epic that drop on a weekly basis and the Heroic Launcher making it easy to get to those games will be like a Trojan horse situation that gets me playing more non-Steam Marketplace games, it's nice to know that I can. But hey, what about you? Did you already have like a ton of Epic games that you were just itching to put on the Steam Deck? Or are you like me, where you had just like a really meager library or maybe no games at all from the Epic Store, and now you're starting to explore it because you have a Steam Deck? Let me know in the comments below because I would like to hear your thoughts on this and definitely your feedback as somebody who's fairly new to this myself. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch these videos. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you on the next one.